Hey guys, welcome back to Insight Tennis Tour Stroke Series. My name is Rick Oldroyd. Uh, I am the president and founder of Insight Tennis. Today we are going to talk a little bit more about the return of serve. And if you've seen any of my other videos on the return, you know that I'm a big advocate that less is more on this shot. Um, I want to reduce everything to its essence. I don't want to have any wasted motion. There's a purpose and a reason for every single thing I do on a return. Uh, if you're playing against a player that can hit the ball 120 plus miles an hour on their serve, you just simply do not have time uh, for any wasted motion. So this is obviously uh, for more advanced players, when you're playing against someone with a big serve, this will really, really help you with your return. Uh, what I want to talk about today uh, specifically is a concept that uh, is not talked about enough in my opinion, and it's just simple geometry. If I am pulled out wide, whether it's a return or whether it's a, a ground stroke, if I move laterally along the baseline, I'm actually allowing the ball to play me. Okay, so let me give you an example. If the ball's coming this way and I'm moving laterally along the baseline, look how much longer it takes for the ball to finally reach me. Okay, but if I do something that is very, very uh, critical called cutting off the angle or instead of moving laterally, I'm going to move diagonally, then watch how much faster I'm going to intersect that ball, right? And that's the key right there. So I want to move diagonally instead of laterally. So if I'm going to hit a return to serve and someone's trying to serve me out wide, this is going to help you guys get on that ball that's out wide because you're going to be cutting off that angle and taking the ball as early as you can um, in your strike zone and hitting an offensive shot from a defensive position. So how are we going to do that? Well, first of all, we're going to have our grip, whatever grip you guys use, the standard or the, the grip that's probably most widely used out there is the semi-western grip. And so I'm going to have the semi-western grip on my right hand. If I'm a two-handed player, I'm going to have my left hand either in an eastern forehand or a semi-western, however you play, uh, in terms of your, your two-handed backhand. I want a nice wide stance when I'm returning serve. I want a good athletic position so I can move either direction, okay? Now, when the ball comes, the key thing here <clears throat> is I want no wasted motion. I want a hip and shoulder rotation, but it's, it's much less than I would do on a normal ground stroke. So it's a more compact swing. But here's the key. I want to move diagonally instead of laterally. So here's what not to do. If I'm here and I'm ready for my return and the ball comes and I'm going to go like this, I'm ready to hit my return, I'm going to move laterally. Obviously the ball, if it was out wide, I'm not going to get there. Okay? So what I want to think about is moving diagonally. So here I am, I'm ready for my return, good hip and shoulder rotation, I've loaded that right side and now I want to move into the court, hit that ball, recover back to the middle of the court. Okay? Again, the key thing to, to remember here, guys, is you've got to move diagonally instead of laterally. Instead of letting that ball play you, cut off that angle. The quicker that I move into the court in a diagonal manner, the quicker I'm going to intersect that ball and I'm going to actually be able to take an offensive position and put my opponent uh, in trouble on the other side. So once again in review, the next time you're returning against a big server, think less is more. Keep that uh, backswing compact, load that right side because you've got to push off that right side, but you're going to actually move into the court on a diagonal angle and cut off the angle. So I'm going to be here, I'm ready for my return, ball comes, hip and shoulder rotation, and this is about as much backswing as I need right here, and I'm going to push off and move in, catch that ball as early as I possibly can. Hopefully this is going to help you guys uh, the next time you're out there. Think less is more. Reduce everything to its essence. And make sure you keep that backswing uh, compact. And also that good trunk and torso rotation so you've got the power. The weight should be moving forward. That's what, another power source as well on the return. And by all means, the most important thing on that out wide serve is to cut off the angle, move diagonally into the ball. 
Hopefully that's going to be helpful for you guys. If you like the video, uh, please click the link below, subscribe to the channel, uh, Insight Tennis. Also check out the website at InsightTennis.com. Uh, also, if uh, you've got a part of your game that you're really, really struggling with and you just can't seem to get uh, any better and move to that next level, uh, in my close to 30 years of experience in teaching, I have found that more often than not, what holds players back, it's biomechanics. It's a misunderstanding of proper biomechanics and technique. And it'll get you to a certain point, but if you want to get better, you've got to have the right technique. So if you guys are struggling with a part of your game and you want some help with that, send your videos in. We'll do an analysis and see what we can do to help you out. Send your videos to Rick at InsightTennis.com. Look for all of the new content coming out on the website this year. Also, uh, we will have some paid content, so be watching for that. Some new series, some specific series that I've been talking about, but because of the injuries, I was not able to do that this last year. But we're going to bring it out in 2020, so uh, be watching for that as well. Check out the website. Leave your comments, uh, questions. We love the feedback. We get feedback from all over the world. And uh, also, uh, subscribe to the channel. Please uh, leave comments, share the video if you like the video, turn on the notification button because we want you to get all of the new content. As always guys, thank you so much for your time. We'll see you next time out on the court.